Hey everyone, this is Orlando Streets and this is my video tour of the Oviedo Mall, which is located about 40 minutes northeast of downtown Orlando. This mall opened in 1998, has roughly 71 stores and 950,000 square feet of total retail space. There is plenty of parking here, so no need to hurry. Finding a space is a breeze, even on the weekends. Once you find parking, shopping is easy. Finding your way in and out of each store is seamless, and window shopping can be fun. Notable stores include Dillard's, Sears, Barnes & Noble, and Regal Cinemas. This mall has several restaurants including a Japanese steakhouse, Chick-fil-A, Sarku Japan, Muya Burgers, Cup Pasta, Asian Express, Steak and & Roll, and Subway. Oviedo Mall reminds me of a mix of different malls including the Artagon Marketplace on International Parkway, the Mall at Millennia, and the West Oaks Mall in Okoe. Going down the streets, walking through the night. Every time I pass this way, I feel so warm inside. He's along the back, rises in the dark night to call the pain to you. Oviedo Mall is sort of an alternative mall, like the Artagon with funky stores like Farmhouse Provisions, District, and Mad Science. The architecture of the mall is similar to the Millennium Mall with its S shape. The difference being this is basically a one-story mall and Millennia is a two-story mall. Unfortunately, this mall feels like it's on life support, like West Oaks and Orlando Fashion Square. Speaking of West Oaks, the Oviedo Mall shares additional important similarities. West Oaks is located on a major central Florida road, Colonial Drive, a freeway, the 408, and is master planned. Oviedo Mall is located on a major road, Red Bud Lake Road, a freeway, the 417, and was master planned as a mall with a mix of residential and other retail surrounding it. I did a walkthrough of the West Oaks Mall not too long ago and I'll post a link to the video in the comment section below. California based International Growth Properties purchased this mall in early 2017 for around 15 million dollars. They say their plan is to revitalize the mall and I hope they do. Channel 9 reported earlier this year about a plan to turn the Macy's building into a senior living center. Here's their report. 
And seniors and their silver sneakers save the struggling Oviedo Mall. As brick and mortar retail shrinks nationwide, the Oviedo Mayor showed Channel Lines Jeff Health Coolidge an application where a developer thinks the old Macy's anchor store could save this entire Oviedo Mall. When Macy's closed its doors last year at the Oviedo Mall, many wondered what would possibly replace it. As we know, malls all across America are suffering. Retail has changed. Every one of us has an Amazon Prime account nowadays, so the landscape is changing. Oviedo's mayor says they too were concerned about how long the space would remain empty. In December, the developer who purchased the Macy's building came forward with an idea. And while this is all still very preliminary, in their pre-application with the city, Tricor US LLC would turn that building into a senior living center. Oviedo currently has nothing like it. In an active senior living center here at the mall could be the boost that the mall could need. I mean, because seniors can walk in the mall, they can shop in the mall, the food court, the restaurants. Heck, there's even a brewery coming here. So what could be better? Walk right to the brewery. Oviedo residents like the sound of it. I think it's a great idea. And I don't know of that many places around here in Oviedo that really attract the adult seniors. So I think that'd be awesome. Besides the senior center, Tricor would also incorporate retail and office space. They also envision new restaurants in the parking lot as well as a 115-room hotel. Another first for Oviedo if approved. Fill up that mall and get it revitalized again and have some growth around there because that mall is in desperate need of it for sure. Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Oviedo Mall needs something like a Costco or Trader Joe's. A live-action zombie museum? Something. The architecture, the brightly lit corridors, the multicolored window panes, and the general quality of construction at this mall lead to an inviting space. It's just sad to see something so well put together failing. In the two days that I spent here, I could tell that this place is a real hub for the community, which is why I believe this mall could really be something. I really like this mall and can see potential here, even though it's possible they may be losing an anchor after the new year. If you haven't heard, Sears filed for bankruptcy in October of this year. I still don't know for sure if the Oviedo Sears location is closing, but things could change at any time. Channel 9 Seminole County reporter Jeff Left Coolidge is live at the Oviedo Mall, and Jeff, they're looking at doing more than just filling in the retail space. Oh, that's right, Martha. They don't want you to just come here to buy a ticket to see a movie or shop in one of the stores. They want you to actually live here. And they're asking the Oviedo City Council to approve a plan to do just that. We really do have a lot of pretty good, unique local tenants. Kevin Hypes, the general manager of the Oviedo Mall, says the future is not in big retail. They must come up with new ideas to lure people away from the comfort of their home computers. The good thing about all of these old malls is that they really are usually in very good regional locations, which means it's good real estate. Hype says that is what makes the Oviedo Mall a diamond in the rough. He continues to keep polishing it until it sparkles again. With anchor stores Macy's and Sears gone, they are bringing in more mom and pop stores and innovative businesses such as Oviedo Brewing, The District, Neoware Studios, and Penguin Point Productions. This guy's teaching these kids how to write screenplays, uh, how to act, and then so I've kind of cut a deal with him where he uses his characters, his talent, to put on costumes and walk them all. You know, kind of like Disney. On the other side of this wall used to be Macy's. So he's going to knock it down. He's going to add about, and if you were at the planning and zoning meeting, they actually came out with the numbers, and I can't recall exactly what it was, but I think it was 250 typical luxury apartments and another 175, 55 plus active adult apartments. There are also plans to build a first class 120 room hotel on the property and add new restaurants if Oviedo City Council approves the developer's plans. The mall must survive. Uh, I don't know if, if we should approve or not approve of these apartments at this time. We need a lot more information, uh, but we do need to look at creative solutions that will help it diversify from retail. And the Oviedo City Council will take up the developer's proposal during their meeting on January 6th. That's for a first reading. Reporting live at the Oviedo Mall, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. The Oviedo Mall is open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and noon to 6 on Sundays. If you have any questions, please let me know with a comment below. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.
Going down the streets, walking through the night. Every time I pass this way, I feel so warm inside. He's along my back, rises in my back, not too cold to pain. 